Okay, good morning class. This will be a shorter lesson because you guys have written an exam this morning, a test, a class test. Please answer that um, the class is at the back of your maths book. We'll discuss it on Monday. Okay. You guys had homework, correct? The homework was uh, dealing with Exercise. One point? Twenty-one. Okay. Exercise one point twenty-one. Which page was that on? Page thirty. He says 1.21, you have to do the first column. Not so? Yes. Right. Um, are there any issues there? Yes. yes. In 1.21, page 30. Morning, miss. Number one. What was the issues in number one? Number one. No issues in number one. Number one, K and number two. K and L in number two. So number one, K is fine. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else have a problem with anything else other than K and L? Your homework is the second column of exercise 1.21. Uh, Okay, when you're watching the videos, you just look on the screen for this, for this sign. Okay? That, uh, try and wish for that thing so that, I know you know you won't be watching the whole video. Right? You just watch these certain parts and see what the, your problems are. Okay? So, um, the fast track that, you always try and you always see something like this. Okay? Let's look at K first. So what can happen, so you get x squared plus 2x plus 1 over x squared plus 1. What can happen on top here? Trinomial. It's a perfect square trinomial. Not so. So we're looking at the perfect square trinomial. So that's going to give you x plus 1 squared. We check for the middle term. Is 1 times x times 2 is going to give you 2x, which is good. Okay? And that's all over. What type of factorization can happen in the denominator? Common, Common factor x. So I'm left with x plus 1. So what do we note at this point? That x plus 1 will cancel. And remember, here, on top you have x plus 1 times x plus 1. Not so. That's how I get x plus 1 squared. So that x plus 1 cancel with one of them. Leave you with x plus 1 over x. Now some of you would want to cancel that there. But you can't because there's a plus. Or well, later on if there's a minus you can't cancel it. So what is your problem here, Michael? Sorry? Sorry? Factors. Now if you use a factors, it's going to give you the same answer. You're looking at the factors of of of, uh, of one and one, one 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 one. Do you add subtract? We add it. So it's going to be one 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 one. X and X, both plus. All right, we got the common factor of X, X plus one. Come inside. That cancels. Still giving you with 
x plus 1 over x. Yes, Michael. I would like to cross all Mexican children. Okay. So, so what's the confusion here? Sorry? So what, what did you actually do? Thank you. What did you actually do? You got it wrong. Okay, but you understand now? Yes. Okay. Let's look at L. I need you I need the space here. Yeah? If we look on top, what can be done on top? Common factor of? X plus 3. What are we left with? X squared minus 2x plus 1. It's all over. X plus 3 into X minus 1 squared. But what can happen here in the second bracket? Perfect square trinomial. Not so bad. So that will be x plus 3 into x minus 1 squared over x plus 3 into x minus 1 squared. Now what? Cancel. What can cancel? x plus 3 cancel x plus 3. X minus 1 over x minus 1 squared, sorry, x minus 1 squared also cancel. Also, the answer is 1. What was the problem here? My goal. Don't sketch like it on the desk, my goal. Huh? Sketch on the book, on the side of the book. Why are you sketching on the side of the book? You get all your sums right? Let's sketch on the side, it's fine. <laughs> yes? Sorry? You're going to cry over the sums now, you need a tissue. But it's fine. Take. Right, was there any other homework I gave you? No. Alright, so, um, I gave you homework. The homework was exercise. 1.21, the second column. Now we're going to look at multiplication and division of fractions. Multiplication and division of fractions. This is on page 33. Page no, that's addition. Thirty-one. Okay. So where do we start here? Where do we start? Change division to multiplication. So do that quickly. Changing that to multiplication, what happens? It's tumble n times, not so? Tumble n times. Now what do we do? Sorry? What do we do now? Cancel you. Cancel. X minus one squared cancels x minus one squared. Do you agree with that? Yes, now what? Three. three going to three once, three going to six. Twice. Now what? Seven. seven going to seven once, seven going to fourteen. Twice. Two times two is over. Which is one. Any problems here? No? Nice. 
Okay, we'll do another one. No? They say simplify the algebraic expression assu assuming all denominators are non-zero. We spoke about that yesterday, no? I'm not going to repeat myself again, okay? Why can't the denominator be zero? You forgot? Otherwise the sum will come to be undefined, okay? As a number three. Example two, same page, 31. So what needs to be done first here? Question is simplify the algebraic fraction. Yes. Say so change. Division to multiplication. Right. So do your thing. Again times here, yeah? so we get x minus 1 over 3x times 9x squared over 4 times 8 into x minus 1 over x. Now what? Again cancel. Not so. so you cancel quickly. Okay, so let's cancel. What can cancel here? 3 and th uh, 3 going to 3 once, 3 going to 9, thrice. What else? 4 going to 4 once, 4 going to 8, twice. X going to X, X cancel one of those X's, leave you with one X left, not so. And that X cancel that X. So what am I left with? X minus, you got 2 at times 3 is 6 into X minus 1 times X minus 1 is going to be what? X minus 1 squared over 1 times 1 is 1. So the answer is simply 6 into X minus 1 squared. You could have gone from there straight into that answer, no problem with it. Okay. Any issues? You all understand? No confusion, eh? Get the back. You understand, my girl? Yes. Now we're looking at example 3 on page 31. Simplify the algebraic fraction. Again, assuming all denominators cannot be equal to zero. What can be done here now? It's a bit different. Yes, you're going to change this to multiplication, number and times. What else? Common factor of x squared in the first fraction. Not so. You take out x squared in the common fact of fraction and then you take it from there.
Guys, finish? Yes? So let's go with it. We got x squared into x minus 1 all over 4. Change the multiplication, combination times. So it's 8 over x squared. Now what? What can cancel? x squared is cancelled. What else cancel? 4 can go into 4 ones, 4 going to 8. So what are we left with? 2 into over, which is simply 2 into x minus 1. You all agree with that? Remember if you got uh, 2 minus x over 1, that is simply 2 minus x. But 1 over 2 minus x will never be equal to 2 minus x. You all agree with that? Get example four, same page, thirty one. The instruction, instruction is to simplify. Okay, so looking at this question here, what must be done in the first fraction? Common factor of x second uh, in the denominator, trinomial is. Then, tumble in times. What factorization can happen there? The difference between two squares. And here, common factor of x. And here, common factor of 3. A lot of factorization. You see that, people? So do you think quickly? You see the importance now of factorization. Okay, you guys are ready? Not yet, okay, give another minute.
Okay. So, as we see the first one, it's a common factor, not so? It will be x into over. Denominator as a trinomial. So let's factorize the trinomial. So one this, so it's a one and a one, a one and a two. Do we add or subtract the products? Subtract. Two minus one is one. So in the bracket goes one and a one, a one and a two. Why? And we want a one, okay? So it's a one and a one, a one and a two. Is x square here? So there goes an x and an x. What about our signs? 1 plus 1 minus. The bigger one must be? You see, we're going to change this to multiplication. And we're going to tumble n times. So remember, the denominator is because it becomes the numerator now. Okay? What type of factorization can be done on x minus 4, uh, x squared minus 4? x plus 2 x minus 2 and this is all over x is a common factor I'm left with x plus 4 times what can be done there? common factor of 3 x plus 4 over so what can happen now? Cancel. so what cancels? x plus 4, yes, with x plus 4. What else? x minus 1 with x minus 1. x plus 2 with x plus 2. x with x. So the whole first fraction is gone. Not so? Second fraction, we only left with that thing. Third fraction, we only left with that. Not so? And it's over 1, of course. So what would this be? 3 into over, which is simply 3 into, okay, any confusion there, any confusion, yes, you are going to write 3 behind the bracket, do we ever write 2x like that, do we? So do you think you must put a 3 behind the bracket? Huh? No. Okay. Nice. Nice. So now we're going to look at exercise 1.22. Number 1, we're going to look at the first column quickly. Exercise 1.22. Number 1, first column. Page 32. Guys, finish? Your time again. We have a problem, bring it to me now. Eh?
Okay, you guys finish? Yes? Let's look at the A quickly. What, what's going to happen here? Let's change that. So it's going to be 2 over 5 times 15 over 7 times 14 over 3. Now what? 7 going to 7 once, 7 going to 14 twice. 5 going to 5 once, 5 into 15 thrice. Three to cancel that 3. So what we left with is 2 times 2, which is? Any confusion there? Let's look at the next one. That one must change the multiplication, and that one there. So it's going to be 2a squared over 3b cubed times 6 over 2a squared times b squared over 6. What's going to happen now? 6 cancel 6 years. A squared and A squared, 2 and 2. B squared and 2 of those 3 B's. Not so. Leave you with B to the 1 left. So what are we left with? 1 over 3 B. 1 over 3 B. You all okay with that? Yeah. Any confusion? Go for it. Understand? Yeah. It's 1 over 3 B. Let's look at E quickly. E. So what must happen here? Tumble in times, tumble in times. So it's 4 over 5 times 5 over 2x squared times x squared over 6. Now what? 5 going to 5 once, 5 going to 5. 2 going to 2 once, 2 going to 4. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 going to 6 thrice. X squares cancel. So what about the two? Do you guys understand? For homework. You're going to do for me. Number two, the first column. In number three, I want you to do every alternate sum. Which means to say you're going to be 3A, C, E, and G. Number four, first column. Okay. And don't forget to re-answer the test of today at the back of your books. People enjoy the rest of your day on the weekend. Good morning class.